Hello, my name is John, and today we're in the cockpit of the Wigan again. In this video, I wanted to take a look at the RB-04E anti-ship missile. As the name suggests, the RB-04E is intended to be used against either single or groups of ships. And the RB-04E is one of the primary weapons of the Wigan, and uh, the aircraft can carry two RB-04Es. The missile has a warhead of about 200 kilograms, high explosive, and is actively radar guided by its own radar. It has a range of up to 32 kilometers and it can be launched at an altitude between 50 and 425 meters above sea level. After launching, the missile will either acquire a single target or if set to the group mode, it will go through different processes of target selection, which can also be set in the mission editor and um, sign itself one ship out of a group by random or by whatever you have set in the mission editor. And uh, this can be used even if you just leave it at the default setting to engage multiple ships within a group. And if you fire two missiles at once, one missile will pick one target and the other missile will pick another target. And we're going to do that right now. So let's look at the map first. We're currently heading towards waypoint B1, which is our initial waypoint over the sea. And uh, at that waypoint we want to go low altitude flight and uh, we also want to speed up and we will descend to about 250 meters above sea level which is uh, the recommended altitude for RB-04E employment. And once we have descended to that altitude we want to head towards waypoint 2 and from waypoint 2 on we will be looking for our target group. Our intel, the last intel we got said that the target might be close to the target waypoint or to the waypoint B3 and we want to switch the waypoint B3 to a target waypoint M3. Uh, but however the target might have moved as well so we all have to acquire the target using the radar. However the first thing we want to do is setting the waypoint B3 to a target waypoint M3. Uh, that is necessary to be for it to be moved and you probably if you have seen my navigation tutorial you know why that's necessary. Anyway Let's uh, zoom in on the navigation system here a bit. Go to the tech and the input mode. Let's input 9. Let's input that for the B3 button here. And then go to the output mode and go to the active position. And if we select the B3 button here, you can see it's now the target waypoint M3. So that's nice. Let's select M1 again, because our B1 again, because that's our next waypoint. And uh, now we are just above the island I have selected. And I have selected an island because it's uh, quite easy to see on radar. For example, if you need to do a position update again. And yeah, as passing this waypoint means that we want to go into the low altitude mode. I will do so right now. I will bring up the throttle just below the burner. Because we don't want to burn out there. But we want to accelerate a bit. And we can burn for the last bit if we want to. Just to give the missile a bit more kinetic energy. But it's a bit too early for that because the next waypoint is at least 50 kilometers out and then it's another couple of kilometers until the target area, okay? About 250 meters on the radar altimeter there. Quite happy with that. We'll set the reference altitude to that by pressing the reference button and engage the level hold button. Okay, aircraft. The aircraft is now set on uh, altitude and altitude hold and uh, we will just uh, this will just give us time to set up all the systems. Now the first thing is we want to bring the radar into the A1 mode by enabling the switch up here. And on the radar screen we see the readout and we see the next waypoint B2. The next thing we want to do is we bring the aircraft's uh, main master switch into the un attack position. Or, yeah, attack position, which um, changes the symbology in the HUD a bit once we have the weapon selected. And uh, talking about weapon selection, over here on the master weapon selector, we want to go into the attack mode, which is used for RB-04E deployment. And uh, the other switches related to the RB-04E are over here. The first switch is either in the lower position setting for one weapon to be released upon pushing the trigger, or in the upper position, in the serious position, you are you uh, release two weapons when you hold down the trigger for two seconds. And if you release the weapons in this mode, the missiles will even uh, create separation between them because one missile will steer a bit to the right just to have more space between the missiles so that the, they don't collide in flight. And the other switch we will want to select here is either the single 
target switch or the group target switch. And in the single target mode, the aircraft or the sorry the missile will pick the first target it sees and head towards that. And in the group attack mode, it will use the parameters set in a mission editor to determine a target. Currently, I have set it to defaults because that's the easiest, and uh, for this tutorial, it's more than enough. Okay, we're about 20 kilometers away from our next uh, waypoint, from the B2 waypoint. We have set everything up so far, except setting the master switch to unsafe, or the master arm switch to unsafe. Or the but we will do that uh, once we have passed the B2 waypoint and we have acquired our target on radar. And looking into the radar screen right now, we can increase the range to 120 kilometers. And we can see if we see something, and yes, indeed we do. Up here, we have a small black speck and we can assume as there is nothing else on our radar screen that that is our target group just to make sure let's bring up our uh, b3 waypoint which is our target waypoint m3 and you can see intel thought that the target would be here but i guess that has been wrong or the target moved or whatever so that's fine we're prepared for that that's no problem and to change that we want to bring our uh, trigger switch on the our navigation trigger switch to the T1 position, so we get the cross here. Then we will move the cross here over the target, right here. And then we will hit the TV position, or the second dent of that trigger switch. And now we have set our target waypoint M3 to that location. And that's also the reason why we made a target waypoint out of that. If we had a navigation waypoint in there, we would have uh, messed up our whole navigation suit by resetting uh, the reference grid, so we don't want to do that, and that's why we set it to a target waypoint. Now let's use the trim buttons to roll the aircraft to the right far enough, and head towards the target. Now the target is approximately 60 kilometers away, and uh, the maximum range is 30 kilometers, so we still have some time. Now let's bring the weapons to unsafe, and um, yeah, that should probably ready us for engagement. We should have set everything we need to. And you can still see the, the the bars, the altitude bars on the hut, they still are set to about 250 meters. And that's because um, once you set the missile up, like we did right now, it will be set to that altitude anyways. However, you could still release it at the 400 meters or down to 50 meters above sea level, depending on your choice. But this altitude is, uh, I guess, the optimum altitude or at least the recommended altitude. Now. The only thing we have to do is wait until we get closer to the target. We can even move the target fix a bit closer to the target as it has shifted a bit. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Now we get the correct distance readout. We're about 40 kilometers away from the target. And um, now the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to wait until we get uh, closer. And on the hut, you can see two lines. That's the lower line here is the 12 kilometer distance line, and the upper line is the 24 kilometer distance line. And now the target range is coming in. And um, 40 seconds prior getting into range, we should see uh, uh, the target or the target distance line down here on the hut, I think. And once we see that, uh, that will move closer to the center. Oh, yeah, there, here it appeared. It was a bit further up than I expected and it will go within the release parameters once once we can release the weapon. So let's bring it out of altitude hold. We could fire the missile in altitude hold, that would be no problem. But we won't do that right now. Okay, the bar is getting closer and I think the, the outer two marks indicate uh, if you look to the hut that we can engage the target. Okay, getting closer to our maximum engagement range here. And I think that's good enough. So we'll hold down the button, the release button, the trigger, and both missiles went. We could feel that and hear that. I will engage full burners, and uh, I will break away because I don't want to get hit by any defense systems that the ship could possibly have, or a group of ships could possibly have. Now let's put the safety back on, because we don't need that. And let's select waypoint number four, so we, don't, so we know where we have to navigate. Okay, we have successfully defended any counterattack. At this point, I would believe we're at about 40 kilometers right now uh, to the next waypoint. Probably about 35 kilometers away from our target. We're a bit higher, ended up with some altitude, which is good. I guess gives us some room to play with. And uh, let me bring back let me bring back the throttle first. So 
so we are not spending too much fuel that we would have left far than enough to return back to base a couple of times and we will engage the altitude hold mode again we will go back into navigation mode which will get rid of the target distance line on the hut and we can move it, the weapon selector back to the default position and now um, you see the hopefully see the inset uh, which was recorded in the track of the missiles hitting a couple of targets hopefully currently I don't know because I can see the target back behind us but uh, you sh guys should be able to and yeah this concludes the RB04E deployment I hope you could learn something in this video and I hope uh, the video was uh, somewhat understandable the RB04Es are quite uh, easy to operate if you figure out how the target and navigation system works and that's also the reason why I wanted to do the navigation system video first because it's very important to understand that until you can understand the rest of the systems so yeah and until you understand the navigation or once you have understood the navigation system video and stuff like in there uh, you should be good to go and try the RB04s and other weapons the next weapon I will probably look at is the K, uh, the, the cluster bomb, the, how is it called, the KB-90 I think if I'm not re uh, remembering wrong and um, I also want to look at the RB-15 which is the more advanced anti-ship weapon however that is quite complicated it uh, has to uh, have more target points set and there's a lot of uh, navigation stuff going on with the computer down there which I'm not quite sure how that works yet but we will figure it out at one point I believe and yeah uh, I will put also the mission file into the description down there and I will also put a link to a very good guide on the ED forums on to the RB04Es a guide that is much better than I could ever explain it and it will show you how to uh, set different targets within a group within the mission editor or at least how that is set up and how the missile then selects the targets it's a very interesting read I would recommend you guys checking that out and yeah, fly safe and have fun with the RB04Es